Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, brothers and sisters. I hope you are all well. I hope your families are well. I hope you're all staying safe. I hope everyone's staying at home. And I hope that we are all getting spiritually stronger through this difficulty. Um, so I just wanted to talk about one aspect today. You know, the other day, I think it was on the Jummah talk, um, we were talking about the fact that, you know, the fact that where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says to us through Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So Rasulullah says, Al-mu'minu lil-mu'mini kalbunyani shuddu ba'abuhu ba'ba. That a believer is like, a believer, believers are like to one another, they're like this building. Each brick gives strength to another, right? And so subhanAllah, just thinking about that hadith, and then I was thinking about, you know, all these Islamic institutions. There's all these Islamic institutions where we saw the strength when we were able to come here, whether it be the masjid, whether it be, uh, you know, schools, whether it be madrasas, whether it be whatever it may be, whatever it may be, whether it be community centers, whatever it may have been, right? This was a manifestation of us giving strength to one another, giving strength to ourselves by giving strength to another person, right? And then I was thinking about these Islamic institutions that right now that are so empty, right? Our masjid you know, different different organizations. And the fact is that, you know what, what are they doing? How are they surviving, right? So my appeal today is to us, to all of us. Not only for the organizations, we have to make sure that our organization stays strong even after this passes. We have to make sure. And subhanAllah, during the times when we used to come for Jum'ah, where we come for Salahs, where, you know, you're passing by, you come into the masjid, you drop ten dollars, you drop twenty dollars into the into the donation box, and that's an opportunity for you to give donation. But now we're at home, and unless we don't make a conscious effort, actually go online looking for somewhere where we can give our sadaqah that we need to give, especially in this time. There is a time. There is a hadith of our Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam that is narrated by Anas radiallahu anhu. Where Anas radiallahu anhu, it, is, it comes in the sunan of Imam al-Tirmidhi. Where Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, especially in this time, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, إِنَّ الصَّدَقَةَ لَتُطْفِعُ غَضَبَ الرَّبِّ وَتَدْفَعُ مِيْتَ تَسُوءُ SubhanAllah. Our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says that sadaqa, giving charity, it ex extinguishes the anger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Right? And it repels an evil death. So this is something that we should be thinking about. That this is something that I need to do right now. This is one of the actions that is a must do right now for every one of us. That we should be looking at places. How can I spend some of what I have? Right? And even subhanAllah, this is a personal thing. So the organizations are the organizations. I was thinking about that anyways, and I'm sure a lot of us are thinking about this anyways. You know, we have to think about ways to support our organizations financially, get, help them get through this so that after this finishes, whenever it finishes, may Allah subhanahu wa make it pass quickly. But whenever it finishes, our organizations are just as strong, if not stronger than they were when this started. Especially like we're thinking about our masjid. We're in the process of building a new center. We have to be able to hit the ground running after this finishes, inshallah. But for that, for that each, each and every one of us has to try to support. So the organizations, yeah, so that's, I'm speak, I spoke a little bit from that perspective. We're speaking from our own perspective. Personally, this is something that I need to do. I need to give my sadaqah. I need to give my own. This is like an insurance policy with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Right? And I need, this is, this is a very key act of obedience. You know, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam tells us in a narration that is narrated by Adi ibn Hatim radiallahu anhu, where Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, مَا مِنْكُمْ مِنْ أَحَدٍ إِلَّا سَيُكَلِّمُهُ رَبُّهُ لَيْسَ بَيْنَهُ وَبَيْنَهُ تَرُجْمَانُ That Allah Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says that there's no one of you except that they will speak directly with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There will be no translator. فَيَنْذُرْ أَيْمَنَ مِنْهُ فَلَا يَرَى إِلَّا مَا قَدَّمْ وَيَنْذُرْ أَشْأَمَ مِنْهُ فَلَا يَرَى إِلَّا مَا قَدَّمْ وَيَنْذُرْ بَيْنَ يَدَيْهِ فَلَا يَرَى إِلَّا النَّارُ تَلْقَى أَوَجْهِ فَاتَّقُوا النَّارُ وَلَوْ بِشِكَّةِ مَرَى The Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says this person is going to be speaking directly with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. No translation. So nothing is going to be lost in translation. And then this person is going to, this person looks on their right side. What do I have on my right side to help me? 
and all they're going to be seeing is their actions. They're going to look on the left side. All they'll see is their actions. Them, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and your actions. That all, that's all there is. And then what will happen? And then they'll look ahead, and all they'll see is they'll see the fire right there in front. So Rasulullah says, remember, it's only your actions. Your actions are the only thing that is going to help you. فَاتَّقُ so, so save yourselves from the fire. وَلَوْ بِشِقِّ تَمَرَةً Even if it be with a small piece of a date. So look for opportunities for us giving our sadaqah, right? So yes, I'm speaking from the masjid's perspective as well, because this is our masjid. But I'm speaking about all other organizations. Look for places where we can give. Look for places that we can give for that we can give to so that they stay strong, right? Look, as we always say, try to put your hands in as many honey pots as possible. Try to get reward from as many places as possible. Maybe you see someone that's doing an amazing job online during this crisis. Maybe you see an organization that's doing an amazing job supporting seniors, supporting Muslim and non-Muslim people, and you want to be a part of that. Be a part of that. But make sure that you give. Right? And subhanAllah, you know, I know that many of us, we're all, we're all, we're all, this is, this has affected us all in different ways. This, this is a challenge. And wallahi, this is a test from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And if we are, if we are patient and we expect reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for every moment, then wallahi, the reward will be great. Right? So yes, we're going through difficulty. And many of us may be going through financial difficulty. So you may be thinking, you know what, how can I give right now? This is exact. This is the time to give. It doesn't mean that you don't have to give the same amount that you were giving before. But give something. Give what you can afford. Give what you think that you can afford. Make sure that you're giving right now because the promise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is Anfiq ibn Adam, Unfiq alayk. You spend, O son of Adam, I will spend on you. Promise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So if, if there's some financial difficulty, make sure that you're spending in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Again, it doesn't have to be a big amount. In one hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa which is narrated in Nasa'i, that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa says that sometimes one dirham, one silver coin, it will surpass a hundred thousand dirhams. So Sahabar they say, Ya Rasulullah, how is that possible? He says, there's a man that has only two dirhams and this person is giving one of those two dirhams. And there's another man that has a lot of wealth and that hundred thousand just support on the side is kind of something that's kind of just left over. He takes it and he gives it in sadaqah. The first is so much more valuable to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the promise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is you spend, I will spend on you. The promise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through the words of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa is that ma naqasat sadaqatun min mal. That sadaqah will never decrease through, sadaqah will never decrease a person's wealth. These are the promises of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And when we are in this tight situation, this is the time where, wallahi, it is so valuable to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Once Sahaba radiallahu anhu, they were asking Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa all the different actions. What is the best type of this? What is the best type of this? They said, what is the best type of sadaqah? And Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, juhdin muqil. The effort, the striving of the person who has very little. So the message for today, my dear respected brothers, elders, and sisters, um, is that you know what? Make sure that we we make a conscious effort to spend in the path of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Make a conscious effort. It's for ourselves, but also thinking of the organization. But more than anything, it is our opportunity. We have to be giving. May Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala give us all tawfiq. May Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala make this pass as quickly and as easy as possible. Wa akhiru da'wana alhamdulillahi wa alhamdulillahi wa